This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am marrying two of my biggest hobbies, that is gaming and illustration. We're gonna be taking a look at Colors Live here on the Switch. Hello, my name is Brad. I review tech for creative professionals, and this landed on my lap during the busiest weeks of my year. We have the iPads that just came out last week. We've got some Surface devices arriving in the mail any day now. There's a bunch of XP pen tablets I'm in the process of reviewing, and this app, just kind of falls out of nowhere. So what Colors Live is, is it's a game slash app that you can download for your Nintendo Switch. And there is a pen in this box, which is a sonar pen, which I reviewed several years ago. Now the sonar pen is a really innovative idea. It came about back in the ancient days of the iPad where all iPad styluses kind of sucked. And the Apple Pencil only worked on the iPad Pros. And so they devised a way of getting some pressure sensitivity into their stylus utilizing the headphone jack. Now the reason their timing was bad is because one, Apple started rolling out Apple pencils for lower end iPads, but also they started phasing out headphone jacks in their phones and other phone companies followed and of course the iPads followed too. So a lot of the devices that would be able to use this can't anymore. So let's start by just taking a look at this stylus. I should have cut the sticker before starting this. I should also point out that Colors Live did send me the stylus and a code for the app to use, but this is not a sponsored video. These, these opinions will be my own. All right, so let's see. In this bag, we have the stylus itself, and there appears to be a couple nibs as well. Now these are disc tip nibs, if you're familiar with old iPad styluses. And so what these styluses are designed to do is to give you that wider surface area, but they're these clear disc tips, so you can kind of see through them while you're drawing on your screen. All right, so it is Nintendo Switch time, so let's power this on. Go ahead and open that up, close eastward. All right, so let's get this pen plugged in to our Switch. I've never plugged anything into the headphone jack of my Switch before. It's up here on top. All right, and then it said set the volume for at least 70%. So let's, that looks, that looks, let's just to be safe, let's go to 80. All right, so I have yet to run this. So let's go ahead and tap on Sonar Pen. What is Sonar Pen? It is a pressure sensitive pen and an ideal way to use colors live. It's got pressure sensitivity, palm rejection, and a shortcut button, cool. I think that's just like an ad if you bought the app but don't have the pen. So we have Color Quest. That's like a gamified art thing. Really interested in that. I wanna try that out in a minute. The Sonar Pen thing I tapped on. The Online Gallery, which is a gallery where you could submit your artwork, check out other people's artwork. My Profile options and new painting. I'm gonna just go into new painting here. So as I'm looking at the canvases here, what I've read is you can have a canvas uh, that is like 2,560 pixels by 1980 pixels. And with that canvas size, you're gonna get 10 layers. So I'm just gonna go with widescreen because it's recommended. My sonar pen has not been set up. So let's go okay. If the nib was pre-installed, insert your nib. Okay, that's, that's good to go. Next, plug in into the headphone jack. We're good there. Set headphone volume to max. Next, color sonar pen is detected. Now let's make sure it's calibrated. Okay, paint a soft stroke here and apply very little pressure. All right, that's very little pressure. Next, mucho pressure. Okay, next, I'm all set up. All right, let's try painting with pressure. So if I press light, all right, if I press harder, well, I'll be, look at that. We got some pressure sensitivity here. Keep your nib clean. This is probably an important one. You probably wanna clean your screen and your nib while you're using this. And of course, replacing your nib from time to time is good. So here we go. We are in the app. So these are set up, uh, they kinda look like the buttons. Yep, that's exactly it. That's cool. So you have your shortcut keys. Bring them back. How do I bring them back? There we go. It looks like the A button brings those back. Okay. So let's hit L and this is our brush menu. And it looks like we are on the hard stroke, which is good. And this is more of an airbrush stroke, which gives you like different amounts of paint depending on the pressure. Whereas this gives you like a different thickness to the line depending on your pressure. That's kind of what I prefer. This is the more airbrushy thing. So that's kind of cool. Then of course we have the eraser and this plus button, which brings up uh, cool. A handful of things. Oh, we got a pixel brush. We got select and move tool. We got a pixel eraser, solid eraser, classic eraser. Okay, so there's some stuff built in here. Let's go back. And of course, this looks like it adjusts the size. Yeah, and it gives you a little preview of the size as, as we go through this. 
And this is probably adjusting the opacity. I'm gonna keep my opacity high. And then of course our color wheel. So I'm gonna to try to create something that looks like a pencil. And this doesn't have like a default pencil tool, but it looks like if I just change the opacity of my pen tool, I'm gonna to get the same effect I want. So, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. What are we gonna draw? Um, it's a switch. So we're gonna draw Mario. Cool, cool, cool. So let me hit the A button. Uh, how do I do layers? Look at that. We got the instant replay. That's cool. I'm gonna do that again. Nice. What about layers? I don't see layers here, so let's go back. Oh my gosh. I think this is layers. There it is. Add a layer. That's what I needed. And of course, over here, we have the ability to merge layers together. Uh, you could duplicate a layer if you want to, and it looks like this is an opacity slider. So if you want to reduce the opacity of a layer, you're good to go. Now, I don't see anything like layer styles or any of those high-end like art app features in here, but this this will get the job done. So let's go back now that we have another layer. I'm gonna change my brush here. Gonna get the opacity cranked up. I think I'm gonna go in here to my Mario layer and change the opacity. I don't know if it'll show up on my camera, but it's gonna make this easier for me. Can I pinch and zoom? I cannot, but I can zoom in this way and then I could use the hand to move him over. All right, so let's draw Mario's nose and I'll apply more pressure along the bottom. All right. All right, pressure sensitivity is working. While I'm finishing this up, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Squarespace has the tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, a simple checkout process, and secure payments. Whatever you sell, Squarespace has the merchandising features that you need to make your products look their best online. All websites are optimized for mobile devices. Your content automatically adjusts so your site looks good anywhere. Grow and engage your audience with Squarespace's email campaigns. Create powerful email content that matches your website with your existing products, blog posts, and logo so your message is consistent and effective. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bragcolbo to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. All right. Not exactly my best work, but I think think I got a feel for it. I think I got the idea. All right, so the first question I had is, is the stylus gonna scratch my screen? And I don't I don't see any scratches on there, so I, I think I'm good. The other thing that I'm, I think a lot of people are gonna wonder is, hey, I already have a Switch, but I don't have a drawing tablet. Could this replace an iPad or an Android tablet or, or some kind of Wacom type thing that I have for a computer? So I think the short answer for that is, no, this does have pressure sensitivity. Uh, it says it has palm rejection. I didn't really, the screen is so small that my palm re really wasn't resting on it. So the thing that I am uh, noticing the most as I draw is it's just, it's it's really hard to get a smooth organic line. And, and I think there's a couple of reasons that's happening. And I think the main reason is just the texture of the screen. This is a rubber tip stylus. It is very rubbery and it's soft because they don't want to damage the screen. And because of that, it it drags. There's a lot of resistance on this screen when you're dragging this across it. The other question I would have is, can you use this to create professional art? And I mean, there's an asterisk by that. Oftentimes, if you are a good artist, you can use pretty much any tool to make something cool. Would I recommend getting a Switch over an iPad to make artwork? No, I would not. I'd rank this experience a C. It's, it's not bad, but I, I think if you go with a traditional drawing tablet, it's going to be so much better. The other thing with this app that would prevent me from saying, hey, get this instead of, say, any iPad or Android app is just the level of features that are available. It has the basics here. You know, you can change your brushes. There are soft brushes and hard brushes and that sort of thing. And there's erasers. 
But that's about it. You can't do a lot there. Same thing with the layers. You can create a layer, you can change the opacity of a layer, but that's it. There's one other thing I want to check out on this app and it's the kind of game mode that they've built into it. So that game mode is called Colors Quest. So let's go ahead and tap on that. I'll just read it. In Color Quest, you paint something new every day using a theme and various rules. After each day, you will see the results move closer to your goal. I love this. There are a lot of games out there that have taken exercise and made them fun. It's just really, really smart that someone is doing this with drawing and illustration. All right, gonna tap on begin. And let's do this. Give me a quest to color. Far from where you live is the tower. There is something you desire that is calling you. It looks like this. So I'm going on a quest and uh, let's go ahead and start by finding our pen. And I'm just gonna do like an inky thing. I'm gonna just draw with ink. Let's go back. All right, for now, this is my book cover. We're gonna say done. It's gonna save it. All right, so let's begin this quest. Cool, so it gives you a mini map. I'm gonna walk up here. For the first challenge, you have 20 minutes to paint anything you could think of that fits the theme, first step, good luck. All right, I see what they're doing. This is kind of nice, because it times it, which means you're only gonna spend 20 minutes a day or however long each challenge is. Let's go ahead and start this, and I'm gonna speed through it, and you'll see what I draw. All right, simple. Obviously, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this, just testing it out. I wanna see if it makes me wait a full day for the next thing, or if I could just dive it. I've only spent a minute and a half, so let's go ahead and click done. You need to paint for at least 10 minutes to complete this challenge. I may have cheated a little bit and gone to the restroom instead of finished my drawing, but I think 10 minutes have passed. Let me go ahead, hit the plus button, and we are done. Let's see what happens. It's gonna save. You finished today's challenge. I could submit a score, or I'm gonna say just for me. Good work a new challenge will be available tomorrow. Cool. I like this. I like that you can't speed run it. I think there's something to that. I think this idea is really clever. Overall, what do I think about Colors Live? This is really fun. I, I don't think it replaces a professional drawing tablet. This is definitely like a hobbyist thing. If you already have maybe a desk set up and you already have a Nintendo Switch and you're like, I would just like a sketchbook I could take with me. Boom. I, I think this kind of fills that gap. The drawing experience isn't going to be as good as an iPad or a Wacom tablet or something like that, but it's fun, it's cool, it's simple, it's easy. I think it's just understanding where this fits in the art ecosystem. This isn't going to give you like professional hardcore artwork. You're not going to make a book with this or a movie with this, but for drawing, illustrating, a little digital sketchbook you could take with you, hey, it's not too bad. What do you think? Have you used this app yet? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.